Hey there, Matt. I hope you had a great time in Spain. Uh, that was your video lesson for today. One big topic I want to talk about. Um, if you have questions at the end or want me to look at anything, feel free to shoot a video on over and uh, let's shoot my two, two cents. Um, I know you're probably busy packing for Columbus and the big move. So, um, and then I think you mentioned uh, also too that uh, you might be able to do a couple of video lessons before because you're paid up till the end of, end of May. So, um, if you want to do a couple of video lessons while you're over in, uh, in Ohio, uh, just let me know and, uh, and I'll send over the links and everything. So we can get you all get you on the on the video chat so awesome so bar chords um, this is kind of where you are right now uh, your open chords looking good we can always do some more stuff training with open chords the cowboy chords by doing songs with quicker switches in them or like maybe like the so bass strum hammer pat or sorry, bass strum patterns uh, the bum diddy pattern that kind of stuff, like country, like some of the country strums. Um, but really, uh, with your left hand, it's bar chords are the next big hurdle for you to, 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 to get down. You're making really good progress. Last time you were in here, they're looking better. Um, so what I'd like to do today is give you um, a parting gift uh, until our next until our next meeting um, when you make it back to Denver. Um, the things I like to do to develop uh, bar technique. Um, there's some of the extra, just the drills that I use. So first one is the power chord extension exercise. Um, like I said before, when I asked my teacher about um, why there were no bar chord drills in his in his book, his technical book, he's like, oh, bar chords are just first finger extension exercise, and, you, and there was then there was extension drills in my book, so therefore I don't need to include any bar chord exercises. So what he would have done, and I guess in that situation, is done like a power chord sit here at fifth fret, right? You know, fifth fret and then uh, seventh fret right here. And what you want to practice is. doing there is I'm keeping the ring finger as tall as possible I'm trying to keep that curl on. I'm trying not to do this like where my ring finger comes along for the ride I'm trying to keep this stable like the the the, the oh, in one spot right here and then extend with my first finger so I'm trying to keep this as still as possible and if I can make it at the third fret That will hopefully, hopefully, or hopefully, strengthen up your first finger right here. That way, when you do bars, it'll be strong enough. You'll need the other fingers to come over and help. So that's one exercise I like to do. The second is the curling drill. This one here, I'm at say seventh fret, for example. <coughs> I got my fingers straight on the pad of my finger. Uh, my fingers are about a quarter to a half inch off the fretboard, like this right here. My first finger is down. I'm gonna strum those strings. I curl my fingers down. And I curl my fingers up. Notice that I'm not flailing out this way, right? I'm curling down. And I curl up. And I'm staying really close to the fretboard. So I'm not doing this or this, nothing like that. It's all really close. I'm going really slow. This is not about speed. It's actually harder to do it slower than it is to fast. Keep it really, really slow and then close to the fretboard. That's number one. The, the, the number two part of that drill is can you go off to the side? Like for this drill, no more than 30 seconds to, like 30 seconds, uh, maybe a couple of times a day. No more than that, because this one can really stress out the your uh, your index finger if you're still just getting used to doing bar chords. So that's another exercise I like to do. Another one is, uh, we talked before about when we switch chords. You're actually in the chord before you land it. So when I go to do a bar chord, oops, sorry. so I go, I'm already there. So I'm in the chord in midair. So what we need to do is practice having that chord form shape in midair in a controlled sort of way. So I have the chords, I have a B minor chord right here. Remember, it's an A minor form. And I strum that chord. I lift that chord. I hold it in midair. And then I drop it all at once. I lift the chord, I hold it, hold it, and I don't lose the shape. I try to keep it. You're gonna see a lot of this happening. I try to hold the shape and then try to land it all at the same time. Lift and hold, drop all down at the same time. Okay? That's another great exercise to do. You can do it with any bar chord, but I just happen to pick that one. And then lastly is the rolling bar exercise. So what I like to do is this. I'll get my first finger straight, have my fingers curled down here, I try to roll the bar. So 
So if I roll here and I hit the first string, I'm fretting the first string. Here I go to the second string. But the other ones are dead. So you try to roll further into three. I roll further into four. I roll further into five. And then roll to six. And then roll back again. So I'm kind of rocking the bar across the fretboard like this right here. Don't try to do them all in one day. <laughs> don't be like, okay, I'm gonna work on bar course next three hours. Don't do that. Just pick every, like, you know, say you get four or five days of practice in a week, right? Just pick like one, one a day. And then by the end of the week, you've gone through all four, or maybe done four plus, plus then like an extra one or two of the others. So those are some exercises I've had uh, well, it's good luck with, or good results from in the past when working with students on how to play bar chords. Like I said, bar chords are a tough one. Um, they're like the toughest static right, uh, sorry, they're the ta toughest static left hand uh, technique I can think of. And they do take a while, but the good news is that there's a plethora of, of songs out there with like a single bar chord in them that you can do. And I think maybe I'll, I'll send over a couple of those for you um, just in the meantime before you pick your next teacher. That way you have maybe a, a little bit of a direction as to what you should be working on. There's a couple of songs that, that you know have like a single bar chord that you can practice. Awesome, man. Um, uh, looking forward to seeing you virtually a couple of times before we get to say it part ways. Take care, man. Bye.